today's program is a tribute to our founder principal, Mrs. Shakuntala Roy, whose perseverance, dedication, and dreams continue to light our path in all our endeavors. On this occasion, we are privileged to have with us our chief guest, Professor Ellen Furr, Professor Emeritus from Auburn University, our guest of honor, Professor Arun Grover, Professor Emeritus, Punjab Engineering College, and former Vice Chancellor, Punjab University, Honorable General Secretary, GGDST College Managing Committee, Hoshiarpur, Dr. Gurdeep Sharma, and former Senator and Syndic as well, Mrs. Manju Gosain, daughter of Mrs. Shakuntala Roy, and Madam Madhu Raka, our uh, alumina who was the topper in the first batch. And it's our privilege that Professor Arun Grover is accompanied by uh, his better half, ma'am, who is also our alumina. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your gracious presence. Welcome to our guests and dignitaries on the third memorial lecture in the sacred memory of our founder principal, Mrs. Shakuntala Roy. Professor Farr is our keynote speaker today and Sir has especially come to enlighten our students on survival and resilience among women. I extend a hearty welcome to Professor Grover who has very kindly consented to introduce the theme and sir has had a long association with the institution. I would like to mention that our institution is currently working under the aegis of DAV College Managing Committee, New Delhi, under the very able and pragmatic leadership of our worthy president, Dr. Poonam Suriji, who is a Padam Shri awardee. Our institution, which is the biggest women college affiliated to Punjab University, is a living tribute to the pious memory of Justice Meher Chand Mahajan, a great legal luminary and the third Chief Justice of India. Justice Mahajan left an indelible mark in the fields of education and nation building. Today, we are fondly remembering Mrs. Shakuntala Roy, who started this institution in four rooms in DAV School Sector 15. Since the times, the institution has grown steadily and has become a great center of excellence with nearly 100 classrooms and laboratories, a huge library, a newly completed administrative block, a new auditorium nearing completion, state-of-the-art labs such as Central Instrumentation Facility, Incubation Center, Multidisciplinary Research Lab, Mathematics Lab, Recording Studio, Gym and Yoga Facility for staff and students, and many more infrastructure facilities. The theme of today's lecture is Survival and Resilience Among Women. It truly defines Mrs. Roy, who showed extreme resilience in the face of adversities of life and she bravely faced the challenges that came her way. Today we all pay a rich tribute to her and she will always be fondly remembered as our leading light and we as stakeholders continue to pass in the glory of 
living in the historical moments of this great institution. And I put on record that the various achievements of the institution are due to its great team. Once again, long live team MCM, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Today's oration is very special as it is being delivered in the birth centenary year of Shikuntala Roy, which also coincides with the 75th year of Indian independence when all institutions in India are commemorating the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa. Luckily for us, Manju Gosai, daughter of Mrs. Roy, is with us on, this, on today's third oration. She was also with us on the occasion of the first oration, which was delivered on March 30th, 2019. The topic for third oration today by Professor Alan Fur is survival and resilience amongst women, a global perspective. Given the great reputation of Professor Alan Fur, we can look forward to a very informative and insightful lecture from him. So the college is doing well. College has completed 50 years and it is time to move on and assume responsibility to take the college to a higher stage. And I think Professor Alan Fur's visit should be utilized by the principal and the staff of this college to build up a relationship with his research group and his university. So you think innovatively and think big, the college will continue to grow. Thank you very much. Uh, it is very much a privilege to be here. We, as Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard said, life can only be understood backwards. It must be lived forwards. At the center of this social revolution, I also believe that the 21st century is the beginning of the age of women. This will happen as women realize more and more that their character, their devotion to sharing and nurturance, their preference for relationships over narcissist, narcissistic egoism. Those are not liabilities. Women are often told they are, but actually they are indicators of strength resolve and resilience. Women's vulnerability to the effects of this socially created stress is not about the inner constitution of women, but about the inequality that women face. It's a function of the ideological myth of the essential image that somehow women are inferior. The problems that women face are rigorous, rigorously studied but what we often don't talk about is how women not only survive in these environments, but manage to overcome these social forces that work against them. They share a quality that gives them the strength to carry on, and that quality is resilience. Resilience gives them the fortitude to withstand the unfair social expectations and values that cause them great pain and restrict their opportunities to realize their full human potential. Well, what does resilience mean? It implies more than just overcoming misfortune. Resilience means to identify yourself as an empowered person. It means to mobilize your resources to empower yourself and to empower others. Healthy and resilient people, however, are the coffee beans. They respond to challenging circumstances not by becoming ineffectual, but by maintaining their integrity. They use the flavor of their character, abundant with genuineness and compassion, to alter the environment around them. Coffee beans rewrite the scenario. I want you to all become coffee beans. No one else in your life will ever say that. Become a coffee bean. Resilience is inner strength in the face of adversity. And you all have resilience inside of you, but you must choose to find it. You must look for it, and then you must express it. I'm really honored to be here with all of you who are here to attend the prestigious Mrs. Shakuntala Roy Memorial Lecture. It's very nostalgic for me, her daughter, to be here on stage for her. I'm delighted to see the small college campus to have grown to such a magnificent 
campus by the effort of all the subsequent principals and staff by their vision. I mean, you know, I have seen this college, the first building what is shown, you know, always uh, on the magazine and here also, that was the first block ever made. And my mother, she was in, a, there was a cycle shed, which was, you know, like used as office, clerical office, even principal's office, library, and then music room. It was in a row. So, and for so many years, uh, she didn't go into changing her office because she wanted money to save and make the college building. So, and uh, it was really disheartening to see, I mean, how she worked. She was a woman to reckon with. She was a self-made, hard-working, conscientious, determined and dynamic lady. She became the founder principal of RR Baba DAV College for Women in Batala in 1965 and was totally dedicated to make the dream of the residents come true. People of Batala, you know, used to literally, I mean literally they used to call my mother Devi, Devi of education. You know, she was very good in knitting, crochet, embroidery and that has kind of come to me also. She actually always took life as it came. She never cursed, she never said, I mean, why me? She never said that. She always moved on and took it as it came. The committee decided to start a college for women in Chandigarh. So like, you know, since she had done so well in Batala, just in three years, the buildings came up, the students started coming, results were good. So she was the obvious choice for MCM DIV College for Women, Chandigarh. So it is due to my mother's sheer hard work, devotion and foresight that MCM rose to become a premier institution. I must mention that it was not one man show. She had very good, efficient and respectful staff members. The personal touch, human care and guidance she provided to the staff members at all levels made them proud to be part of MCM DAV College. Our chief guest, Professor Ellen Fur, we are really overwhelmed by the, by the ideas that you have given us and we believe that uh, these are the, the things that we have been learning from the life coaches as and when we, we interact with them and you are nothing less than a life coach for all of us. An institution in himself, Professor Arun Grover, his long and fruitful association with the DAV movement and Mrs. Shakuntala Roy gives us the privilege to consider him our extended family and he is with us today. We are proud of our association with Professor Grover. We are beholden to you sir for your gracious presence today. We are privileged to have with us Mrs. Manju Gosai illustrious heir to the legacy of Mrs. Shakuntala Roy, who has joined us today to relive the memories of Mrs. Roy. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your gracious presence.